Dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to tell you something. Please watch video completely and sit with copy pen. And if you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. If you find anywhere some problems or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share, and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. The question is here. A projectile is thrown from a point O on the ground at an angle 45 degree from the vertical and with a speed 5 root 2 meter per second. The projectile at a highest point of its trajectory splits into two equal parts. One part falls vertically down to its ground 0.5 second. After the splitting, the other part T second after falls to the ground at a distance x meters from the point O. The acceleration due to gravity g equal to 10 meter per second square. Here we have to ask two things. First, the value of time period t is. And second thing, the value of x is in meters. And this question is asked j advanced 2021. For students, you can see here, according to the diagram, that this object starting from O with a speed of 5 root 2 meter per second. And uh, at the moment where the maximum height, it splits in two parts. One part falling downward means free fall. It means V2 cos theta becomes 0. And V cos here, V1 cos theta means one part this reaches at the speed of V1 cos theta. Okay. So, therefore, you know that very well. Here, the mass is reduced because it is splitting in two equal parts means m by 2, m by 2. Okay. So, here, the weight become decreases and so, therefore, velocity increases. So, here we have to ask here the maximum height which is attained and time taken to the falling down means time of flight. And second things we have to find out the total distance from this O. Okay. Now, here we have to find out firstly maximum height h equal to u square sine square theta upon 2g. Here u is given that 5 root 2 square sin theta. Here theta is given that 45 degree. Here theta is given that 45 degree means 1 by root 2 square. So, and g is 10. So, now h equal to 5 square is 25. Root 2 means 2. 1 by root 2 square is 1 by 2 and 2 tens are 20. 2 to cancel out 25 by 20. 5, 5s are 25. 5, 4s are 20. So, its value is 1.25 meter. So, here we get h equal to 1.25 meter. Now, we have to find out the total range. The formula of range equal to u square sine 2 theta by g. So, here r equal to 5 root 2 square. Here, 45 degrees given that 45 to the 90 sine 90 is 1 and g is 10. Now, r equal to 5 square means 25, root 2 means 2 by 10, 2 5s are 10, 5 5s are 25, then r equal to 5 meter. So, here 5 uh, r equal to 5 meter. If it is, it will be not, it would be not splits. So, here the range, half range become, it's r by 2 equal to 2.5 centimeter. So, here r by 2 equal to 2.5 centimeter. Now here at the highest point, this particle, this body is splitting in two parts and this mass become m by 2, m by 2. First part is falling down directly, downward direction means free fall. It means v1 cos theta, this velocity becomes 0 and due to v2 cos theta, this object is proceed on. Why it is proceed on? Because here the mass is decreases and its velocity increases. So applying Laws of conservation of momentum. Before splitting, that mass is m, that velocity is 5 root 2 and cos 45. Okay. And here splitting in two parts. Here m by 2 into v1 cos 45 plus m by 2 v2 cos 45. Here this velocity is 0. So whole value becomes 0. Here m by 2, here v2. 
and cos 45 means uh, cos uh, 45 foot as it is here m 5 root 2 cos 45 cos 45 cos 45 cancel out m m cancel out 2 5 are 10 root 2 here the velocity is v2 okay so here we get the velocity v2 10 root 2 and now we have to find out the time of flight time of flight what is time of flight here 2 h by g here 2 we have already find out the maximum height 1.25 so now put 1.25 and g is 10 now removing this decimal and uh, here 2 0 is applying here now 5 25 5 is 125 and 25 4 is 100 that is 40 and uh, here 5 8 is 40 1 the 2 to 4 the 8 it means 1 by 2 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 second that is the time period so first things we have to get the time of flight is 0 0.5 second okay now for the second this v2 particle the second particle is traveling the range is covered okay so here the range from maximum height to here that is uh, v2 cos theta into time of flight so here v2 10 root 2 cos 45 that is 1 by root 2 and time of flight we already find out 0 0.5 or we can say that is 1 by 2 so here root 2 root 2 cancel out 10 by 2 means 5 meter okay now total distance total distance from here that is uh, this r by 2 and this distance is 5 and how much r by 2 that is 2.5 and plus 5 means 7.5 meter so here second particle covers the range that is 7.5 meter and time covered that is 0 0.5 centimeter i hope so you understood this question Thank you for staying till the end of the video and I remind you those who have not subscribed yet do it immediately by pressing bell icon. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.